Hello everyone, welcome to tomorrow's emergency medicine and critical care. I am Dr. Shorok Shen Imu, instructor in tomorrow's emergency medicine and critical care. Today, I will discuss about account opening in RCEM and how to apply for an exam. For this process, you need some valid information with you your name and particularities according to your nid or passport a valid re medical registration organization certificate under which you have complete your mbbs for example mine was bmdc or bangladesh medical and dental council a valid intern certificate and a valid email id then write rcem.ac.uk in the address bar after that you will log in into rcem homepage so then you have to click in login bar that is shown in the right corner of your page so as you didn't have registration before so you have to click here to create an account of your own so click here then this page will be in front of you this will be your new account registration page so fill it accordingly your first name middle name and last name that is provided in your nid the organization name means the medical registration organization that you have been registered for your country you have to write the full name of this organization then your valid email id your home phone number your mobile number the country name you are belongs to a postal code of your locum address you can search by it then your home address name of your city country postal code then the username mostly it will be your email name and the pass password and confirm password then you have to save it so after this your primary registration will be successfully completed so now again go for your home page of rcem logged in by using your username and password that you you have been provided into the previous page then sign in now this is your personal page you have to look for the all data you have been entered before now go for the examination bar and apply for an exam then this page will be appeared in front of you then scroll down and check whether any available exam diet present or not if present then look for the exam name month year the date you were wish to appear for your primary or others exam the link will be there 
so after carefully seeing the link then you have to click on this so this will be your examination application page so read carefully all the instruction that have been provided by RCEM after that you have to start a new application so the first page will be your exam application will be this this will be your booking reference you if you want then you can save it for your for later then continue the second page will be like this this is your current post details so that means the you have to put all the details where you are currently working so the employment first will be your employment grade so you have to choose from here about your employment grade there will be lots of things you can see according to your employment grade like a associate specialist clinical fellow others are fy1 fy2 fy1 is your intern period and fy2 is your post intern period and there is others like gp registrar specialist and trust st1 or two equivalent if you are working now after your post intern period so try to click your st1 or st12 or equivalent please avoid to click unemployment because it will create some hazard later on the time you are working whether it is full time or part time full time will be preferable the type of your post whether it is training or non training post the hospital you are currently working the specialty you are now scheduled for so i am choosing emergency medicine then you have to enter your employment starting date from this calendar please be noted you have to avoid the employment end date because this is your current post details you are not ending this post right now so here you have to only give your employment starting date not employment end date okay so after that you have to continue then the third page will be your historic post details here you have to give all of your previous work experience including your intern period so read all these things carefully then look here i have given my all previous work experience including my intern FY1 then post intern FY2 then after that trust ST1 or 2 equivalent job that I have done before so first you have to give your intern time the subject you are 
scheduled during your intern period so the time so it will be on your intern certificate you have to carefully see and select all the date from your intern certificate how to select these things you have to select on your left hand side select button then this box will be shown from here you have to select your employment grade as this is intern so i have to select fy1 then full term type of post was the training post and training program was the foundation training program the hospital you have been interned the subject the intern period time and date then you have to complete the others information as well here one thing you have to be aware that please avoid any long period that you have been unemployed okay so try to give all the valid information you have done before so look here i have given all the dates that was written on to my intern certificate then my post intern time and the time i have been worked before in the institute so when you give all the information you have to continue for your next page then the fourth page will be your contact information so here this will be your booking id then the place where you registered if you are outside of uk then you have to be click overseas if you are uk and ireland then this will be have to click the country where you have been registered for mine i have to click bangladesh and the medical registration number that has been written on to your medical registration certificate so you have to only write the number the previous thing will be catch up by the rcm website so the medical registration organization name you have to write it full like bangladesh medical and dental council the date of registration started that has been also should be stated onto your medical registration certificate then scan the copy of your medical registration certificate and you have to upload the pdf of that file here so when all of this information you completed completed then click for continue button for your next page of payment so when the payment page shown to you you have to pay for the exam that the amount has been given in rcm calendar so you can pay via visa or mastercard after successfully completion of your payment you will get a confirmation mail from rcem so then you can confirm you have been successfully completed your exam application process 
after that you have to wait for a few week for the Pearson view mail to select the center whether if you want to sit onto Pearson view center or on view center so by this you can open your RCM account and you can apply for your exam so this is the whole process hope you all enjoyed and understand the video thank you everyone for your patience hearing